Sorry, Same! This is the Swiss German term for high all or high together or you know, you, 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 you get what I mean. And welcome here to my first ever video in English. I know I'm gonna piss off a lot of people, but you know, since my channel is about social media and the tech related to it, and the fact that I'm working full time in a social media agency called Lightmag Media House here in Zurich, Switzerland, so you know, my life is all about social media and the tech related to it, and this is all in English, so I just thought. I can share my experiences and my ideas and everything with you guys, with, with a lot more of people and profit from your experiences and, and, and your opinions. So I just thought, just yeah, I mean, come on, let's do it in English, right? So this is my first video and as you already noticed, English is not my native language. So bear with me, I'm gonna do my best and I ho hope I will improve from time to time, from video to video. So, but this is not about my channel especially and yet not about the reason why I changed now from German to English. Um, we are here to talk about why I switched from Sony to Canon in a perspective of a YouTuber. For a long time I was behind the camera. So this YouTube channel is up since last year, so just a little bit more than a year. Actually, I'm uploading videos on it. So um, this is when I started to be in front of the camera. When I was behind the camera, I had all the needs for my camera, right? So since I'm in front of the camera, my needs changed, so now the gear changed. So just let's let's go to my desk because I'm gonna show you how my setup looked like before and I'm gonna show you how my setup looks right now. So let's go. All right, people, this was my first real camera. It is a Sony RX Mark II. This is just a wonderful point and shoot actually, but it's a high quality one. It has a one inch sensor, a card size glass with an f-stop of 1.8 and it is just just a great camera. I actually did a job with this once and it turned out really good. So then I just wanted to step it up a little bit and I came across to the um, Alpha 6000 also from Sony and this is also just a great camera. It is a mirrorless camera with an APS-C sensor it comes with a kit lens, a 6250. It makes awesome images. It's nice um, to make videos with it. I also did my first YouTube video with this camera and um, and a couple of others too. So this was my this was my my go-to setup, right? So so my main camera and my second camera here. This camera and also this camera they don't have a 180 degrees flip out screen, right? So their screens just flip out like that. That means that I can't see myself when I talk into the camera. I needed something else. Then I came across of this camera here. This is the Canon G5X. It has also a one inch sensor, a nice glass. It's not called size, but it has also an f-stop uh, of 8.8 .8, and it has an electronic viewfinder which is great because the Sony doesn't have one and it has a flip out screen 180 degrees so I can see myself when I'm recording and the flippy screen is also a touchy screen which is great if you just um, want to focus really quickly but something else was missing a lot. It has something to do with the audio. So another camera just recently uh, released by Canon took my attention and it is this one here. This is the Canon M50. This is also a mirrorless camera which makes it nice, small and compact as this one here. It has also an EV, an electronic viewfinder, which the Sony a6000 has two, but it has also a flippy screen, 
which is great because I can see myself like with this camera here and it is also a touchy screen what makes the focusing quite easy and this is the nicest part people it has a mic input so this is where this guy comes in this is quite awesome so I can make a nice setup here you know for me just plug it in here on the top of the camera plug the mic in and so I'm ready to shoot so which is nice because none of these cameras have an audio input besides of this Canon M50 so this camera also shoots in 4k which none of these cameras do but I'm not that interested in 4k but the Full HD, it's just, it's just perfect for me. It shoots in 60 frames per second, but it can also shoot in 120 frames per second, but only in 720p, which is actually quite enough if you just put out your stuff on social media, like, you know, Instagram and even YouTube, if you're just watching your YouTube videos on your mobile. Well, as you can see, it is almost a similar setup here with Canon, which I had with Sony, but with a few more pluses here. So yeah, this is actually why I changed or I switched from Sony to Canon because Canon provides all the things that I need for YouTube. All right guys, so you saw it. Just a little recap here. With the Canon cameras, I have a flippy screen. I have a touchy screen so I can see myself. The setup is quite easy. With the Canon M50, I can plug in a mic. This is quite awesome. It shoots in 4K, but that doesn't, you know, affect me that much because I don't want to shoot in 4K. First, you know, it does shoot in 4K, but the special autofocus, which Canon provides, actually the dual autofocus modus, um, doesn't work with the 4K, which is quite a pity for all the people who want to shoot 4K, but. Like I said, it doesn't affect me that much because if you want to shoot 4K, so you need more storage and you need a computer who, which can handle 4K footage. So I have to change my old iMac and I want to do that either. And besides that, I know that a lot of people are watching my videos on their smartphones and there are not a lot of smartphones out there uh, which can provide the resolution for the 4k footage people sh are shooting right so and i know that a lot of people also are watching youtube videos horizontally so that means that they are just covering up one third of the screen out there so why bother shooting in 4k right but I know this is an, just another topic, but you see that the 4K feature on this camera was not the reason why I bought it. So the main reasons are that it's a mirrorless camera, which makes it small, tiny and light. Um, the flippy screen, the touchy screen and the mic plug-in possibilities. For me to work effective and to make videos as fast as possible but good looking as possible and good sounding as possible Canon made the solution for me which is the Canon M50 so this was my first video now in English I hope you liked it um, if so please leave a like it actually makes quite a difference and I will make more videos in English actually I will just make videos here only in English so don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of that stuff and now I will just say thanks for watching and bye everybody in Swiss German as I used to do in my previous videos. Vielen herzlichen Dank fürs Zuhören, wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal. Ciao zusammen!